I thought my homeland would receive me with open arms, but my only welcome was fire and arrows. Nothing in my kingdom is the way it was. Not even me. No more suffering. I can stop this! Stay back! There you go. All right, everyone, and welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with. 
He is a mighty, dashing, magnificent Lieutenant Drakir at your service. And I'm not gonna do it welcome again. back. I'm too much fool. Yeah. <laughs> welcome back to Prince of Persia: The Two Thrones for our third stream of this game. And uh, yeah, just a small delay because some stuff decided it did not want to be on my desk anymore, so I just have to grab that up. Uh, anyways, last time. <laughs> The prince met back up with Farah again from the Sands of Time. And, well, they've gone right back to bickering, even though she doesn't know him or doesn't remember him. But it makes sense for her to not remember him, for technically she haven't met him yet. Mm, well, they did meet, but she doesn't recognize him as the, the one who broke into her bloody room and told her story about stuff and such. Wait. May he not reset that time again after the Sands of Time incident on the island? Uh, probably, actually. I have only heard stories of such marvels. All right. But to see one up close, is there not a similar device in Azad? This lift will bring us to the throne room. But wonder of wonders, it seems to have stopped working. I will try and return it to life. I do hope to visit Azad someday. Mm, technically you did, in a different timeline, or an erased timeline. Yeah. yeah. And also, I'm the one who I feel a bit amused that they are so fascinated and yo-yos of observing a bloody elevator. Yeah. Well, it is... It is, well, of such high uh, technology and complexity that, to them, it is pretty much magical. Now, let's see. There was an area around here where we can get a health upgrade, I believe. But we also got rather stuck at one point here, I believe. So... Let's try and avoid that this time. Let's see. Okay, just go up the walls, back and forth. Hmm. We are getting closer and closer to the end of the game, but we should still have at least this stream and maybe another one to go. Oh. Because that is something with these Prince of Persia games, because they do tend to be pretty uh, short in comparison to some other stuff these days. Oh. <laughs> Off he goes! <laughs> oh! <laughs> he just got splattered against the wall first. <laughs> oh, that's a clip. <laughs> uh, I actually forgot to turn off the sound, but... Oh well, I can highlight that later. I am sorry. What? I said I'm sorry. I never apologized for the way I acted, for the things I said, for who I was. I owe you an yep. apology as well. I forgot that. I owe you and an apology. I forgot that we have to reverse enough to undo I owe the dumb. You an apology as well. It was unfair of me to accuse you of such terrible things. But I have done terrible things. We all make mistakes, Prince. The difference is that you have accepted me. Yeah, she says as he continues to make mistakes. I saw what you did at the shop. And what the old man said. But at least he can undo them. You're killing me. <laughs> Shut up, DP. But, yeah, the, the fact with this game is, is the, these games, is that they may be short, uh, to some degree, but it also helps make them more memorable, because they don't overstay their welcome. Yeah. That was make also makes it easier to uh, make the new dialogues you have a bit more memorable as well. Yeah. So anime games, most of the I played, are usually good to do, able to do a long game that is memorable. 
Yes, again. I can see not everyone had the, ded the dedication. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I don't really play JRPGs much. And hello there, ba uh, Battle Warlords. Uh, let's see, hi again. Health upgrade here. And no? No on what? Not that. Yes. I know there is a health upgrade <laughs> around here. Uh, but I think I actually got myself stuck with it last time that we played. Uh, let me think. Uh, oh, yeah. Go back that door. Yeah, yeah, it is through this door, I believe. I just forget how we really open it for the moment. It has been yeah, not a full week, but it's been part of a week. Yeah, it, the, he missed a lot of casual up streams, like things got in the way, and including something I think you only done once before, Hillian. Oh. You had to cancel the stream due to. Entering food coma. Uh, that happened once, yeah, but uh, <clears throat> Thursday it was more that, yeah, just someone that I hadn't seen in a few years, some five years or so, uh, yeah. that they showed up again. So, yeah, it was either miss a chance of catching up with them, not knowing if they would show up again soon. Or do a stream which can be relocated and filled in later. So yeah. Yeah, that one I understood understood fully. I thought, wait, I understood both fully. But yeah, I, I do hope you two had fun. Oh uh, yeah, it was I, I, fun. That's good to hear. For I, I get what you mean, since meat is only only meant in a while is something special. And I believe this is the third or fourth that we got, Warlords. Yep. I keep mistiming my jumps with these. That's going to spell <laughs> trouble for when we eventually try to stream Mirror's Edge. Yep. Mirror's Edge? Yeah. I didn't know we had that uh, one on the uh, streaming list. I don't think I have it on there at the moment, uh, but it is one that I definitely want to eventually uh, 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 eventually give a shot, or at least a showcase. And yeah, there we go. Uh, let's see, that is number five. Okay, could we that be that we missed one at some point then? But we still got a good amount of health. Yeah... Uh, there are six, you must have missed one. Probably, yeah. And, uh, anyway, how are you doing, Warlords? I hope well, of course. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can still get the last one. Okay. Now, let's Let not see. get caught off guard here. Boom, whoa. From Warlord? You? Yeah, I am good. That's, yeah, that's good, good to hear. <laughs> or good to read. Uh, are we syncing up again? Yep. It, it's like a Reddit that I found some uh, a bit ago. Uh, one orange brain cell, which basically, <laughs> which is basically about uh, orange cats doing dumb things because they well all share a singular brain cell between all of them. What? <laughs> there we go. Blade and breakdance. Before I forget, uh, you remember the Generation Zero we showcased today? You call yeah. that fighting? <laughs> Shut up, DP. And I told you about this Swedish voice actor we heard there that surprised me. Yep. I think one of the. She actually is currently also Princess Peach in the new Mora movie. <laughs> okay, that is definitely an upgrade. Yeah, for she's, she's either very kiddie friendly or something like a, a character like the, the Princess Stacy in that uh, movie, I think. I don't think this is where... No, that is not where we're supposed to go because there's textures missing up here. Okay. <laughs> well, a little discovery made. Nearly there. Soon everything will be better. 
You seem a bit too excited about what is to come. No, Prince. You have simply forgotten your mission. That you do not share in my joy indicates as much. Uh, I'll, yep. I thought I messed up there, but no, I still got up to the correct place to land. Go. Ow. Back. Oh, I'm out of my secondary weapon broken. Sorry about to make the lip smack there. I had no lip smack. Okay, then the mic didn't pick it up. Okay, check that. And there we go. your favorite color color shall I repeat the question blue blue that's not my favorite color what is the point of this must every conversation we have be so serious <clears throat> I know so little about you very well then what is your favorite food the pomegranate of course I do not like pomegranates what is wrong with you? They are messy, impossible to eat with dignity. So much work for a few seeds. <laughs> but is it not the effort that makes them that much sweeter? I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> what is this place? It is the heart of the Hanging Gardens. These are the instruments of life, regulating and running everything. Why did you run off to there, Para? Or is it some sort of instinct to be behind gates? Yeah, I'm in the midst of it. I think she was rushing over for something. I think mean, she, she went to grab a switch or something there? Maybe, or she heard something. <laughs> but, yep. Yeah, part of the fun of this game is just... Not just the bickering between the Prince and Farah, but also just the bickering between Prince and Dark Prince. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a half a Brady Bunch. Good God. And I actually expected them to have a weird, a weird elevator conversation. You know, the... It wasn't always annoying they do in the movies. Yeah, that was close. But... I think I say they did it well for the... the, the I wouldn't call it that... An, your average doll attempt to make an elevator comedy. Yeah. Uh, they, they kind of poked fun at all of that with the. With, uh, you. Okay. The wall just decided to not exist for a moment. Uh. Yeah. I mean, you saw that on replay in a way. Uh, old game be old. Now let's have a look. Heal? Now, now. Do remember, we are older than some of these games. <laughs> True. Hmm. Where do we need to go? The most. Oh, oh, there we go. He's <laughs> just looking away every time it was visible. And. Okay, I was, I was trying to be cool there by trying to predict oh. when it would come out. <laughs> I was wondering, what is he talking about? The wines? No. <laughs> I didn't notice that one, actually. <laughs> but, and, yeah, just good banter between characters is always nice. Oh, yeah. And even better when there's three of them. And speaking of, uh, I saw a video about the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy game recently, like... I think it came out yesterday, and I had heard a bit mixed things about it, but if it came unselected again for some reason, uh, the person who made that video, i actually blanking on their name for a moment, is someone I do trust about games, and they, did, they said it was a lot better than most people expected, and that it has, like, a... <laughs> 
really good amount of banter between all of the characters. Yeah, though I think the reason is not many people made a series of it on YouTube was due to how packed it was with the music they would get your copyright claimed. Yeah. Like, Not that we care that much guides. about that, but oh well. Yeah, people did show guides and secrets and stuff, but not full gameplay. True to it will be impossible to see. Uh, my story from here if you are called to a good. This is a fine place or, to start the tale next time. But I guess you could, but then you have to turn off all music, which... Yeah, that's the only issue on its own. Yeah, we could look at it as a streamer mode or something. Could have been added afterwards. Maybe? But that's not always something that's done. Let's see. We have a way up and we have a way down. Is there anything hidden here? Okay, <laughs> why would that do that? Yeah, I... Also, what is was with that? that? Oh, wait. Was that a yoke or something? Um, maybe, maybe, or... that, maybe that would count more as a visual gag or something, but I don't think a mechanism is supposed to do that if it's shot with an arrow. Uh... Okay, just gotta wait for the right time. This is not the right time. Oh, yeah, they really breathe. It makes me think uh, that they're in a uh, very cool and actually, uh, never mind. Deserts are almost freezing at night. True. Like, it's, you're just as easily going to die of uh, hypothermia as you are from hyperthermia. Hypo being yeah. cold and hyper being heat, of course. Hence why many people in those climates usually have is robes. They even, it's very special cloth even that allows to keep just enough cold and warm air inside. To keep you from freezing or boiling. It did a bit bad, bad. Uh, uh, someone, there we go. Oh yeah, someone yeah, they did a test wearing just shorts and a shirt. Then wearing a bermer, I think they're called. Uh, so it, the na native nomads of Morocco. Okay. He you he used you wore an entire black robe. And he felt way cooler in the robes than in shorts and a shirt. Your father. He is a good man. No, a great man. Strong, loyal, kind, forgiving. What is it? I... That is to say... We did not part on the best of terms. It was many years ago. I was young and full of pride, full of fear as well. He offered to listen, but I could not find the words, would not find them. And I only hope that I may see him once more, to say that I am sorry. But this is a story for another time. Let us speak of other things. Surrounded by so much sadness, we should not succumb ourselves. Returning to the matter at hand, I cannot get to you from where I am. I can close another shutter then. Let us regroup ahead. <laughs> that shouldn't that also work. Uh, uh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> We're both too polite for our own good. Yeah. Was a, uh, that shouldn't work unless there is a clicker that holds it together but I'm not sure if hitting an arrow dash should work unless it's horribly made. Well the whole place has basically been eroded by all of the sand. There's a good chance that it is. 
big. You hold that for me and then just uh, go check the basement. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shut up, DP. What did he uh, say? <laughs> <laughs> luck, blind luck. Oh, the sandstorm. There is still no way for me to get to you. However, you can reach the throne room from where you stand. And I can pass through the greenhouse. This will certainly bring us to the same location. Be careful, Prince. <laughs> He's just having a conversation while the game is explaining the new power. <laughs> okay. Where to from here, then? But yeah, that's also just something fun with the this entire series is that the prince does grow over the uh, over the uh, duration of the games. Yeah, he got help me move. He go back and forth. Do it makes sense considering what he's been through that. Uh, yeah. What he's been through that he can have uh, ebbs and flows like every other person. But he does overcome them. Yeah. Let's see. I don't think we'll be able to get both of these. Yes, we can. Okay. And one more. Okay, now quick, quick, quick. Okay, so much for hoping you were to bounce between them. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of hoping for them to move into position for that as well, but no, they were not going to move in that position. Not in a way that we could get the both of them from where we were up there. Yeah, hello, mate. But yeah, just seeing, seeing this mechanic and such really makes me wonder a bit like how a Prince of Persia 4 like this would have gone. Uh, yeah, that's not. Because that just brings us back down. Uh, there we go. I just wondered how would it have been if they actually made Prince of Persia instead of uh, Assassin's Creed? Yeah. Yes, I, I think they would have probably been leaning on the uh, assassination stuff a bit more. Uh, well, the original plan was to be basically play an assassin that, that acts as a bodyguard to the prince. That was time. what spawned, you know, what led to the creation of Assassin's Creed. And there is the Forgotten Sand still. But... I think that went with something else, with its own little system. Let's... And yeah, we will get to that game eventually. That floor is going to fall apart, isn't it? Nope. Uh, but it will definitely be an entirely new thing for me as well, since I, I think I've only seen like 15 minutes of its gameplay in a video. Okay, that was a very dusty bench if there was... Okay, just <laughs> almost get jump scared by saw blades. Yeah, oh, you can't, uh, you just got a jump scare, you just end up wide-eyed in surprise. <laughs> okay. Now, we could have slowed down there, but it's still nice to get through. Uh, Without the slow down, yeah, you. Without the slow down. Okay, this is going to be a what? big. Oh, there's Farah. How the heck did you end up there? Uh, oh, sand tank. Hmm? Uh, trying to read what the Lord Battle Lord is saying here, but I, I was wondering what the heck does he mean by shark tank? <laughs> Like, I know sand sharks are a thing in games. Uh, actually, that would have been a pretty nice enemy for <laughs> Prince of Persia at some point. Uh, 
but not <laughs> yet for the moment. I think the East sent Chalky in one of the other games. Hmm. But don't tempt fate. Don't tempt fate. But, okay, let's yeah. read. Uh, actually, you, you go ahead and read, since it's a bit blurry for me to read at the moment. Okay, let's see. Uh, Battle Warlord, you can slow down the traps if it helps using a sand tank. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have plenty of sand at the moment. Uh, that's still blocked. Is there anything hidden under here? No. And yeah, we will be using... I will use sand when it is does become necessary for me. Uh, okay. Oh, it's one of these. This puzzle is a oh. bit like uh, moving boxes of different size to different uh, places. But you can only put smaller boxes on top of bigger ones and not the other way around. So we're just going to oh. move this. And now yep, we move right. one of the others. Yep, you're right. You're going to grab a thing. Okay. Um, have to go down here. Because we can't reach this one from here. Let's see. What I remember is there was a lot back and forth moving between the levers in this room. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, yeah, back with ice cream. <laughs> that was quick. Um, I keep telling you, I only need to do a U-turn to reach my fridge. <laughs> like, I go I go away from a QV2, straight to the door, turn around in a U-turn to my fridge. You know what you can say? My fridge and microwave and toaster is behind the, the same wall my computer and TV is on. <laughs> so, the easiest of easy access. Yeah, I just go out the door, make a turn, and I'm, I'm in the kitchen. Okay, if we do I think I told you that many times by now. Yeah, but you know about my memory and, well, not working properly. Ru, you, you did forget to put on your shoes once you go to the store. And you did uh, once forget, forgot to raise the anchor when we were to leave port. And ended up dragging the entire dock with us. And there we go. That just slowly, but slowly and surely brings up the oh, floor. <laughs> okay, now I know what the screen was shaking for. I was wondering, is it bugging out or something? No, but actually that that reminds me of something. With uh, our previous Ori stream, there was a minor glitch. Uh, <clears throat> there was a minor glitch happening during the, uh, the coup scene. I oh, won't yeah. say much more about uh, that. To avoid spoilers for anyone who has doesn't know about Ori and the uh, go, the Ori and the Ori and the Will of the Wisps, but uh, for some reason Ori was vibrating lightly. Yeah, he has been done that. In step. I am impressed you made it past my little welcoming party. Impressed, but also quite annoyed. You have robbed me of my strongest allies. It would be unfair of me not to return the favor. Farah will make an excellent queen, fit for a god. Although we will need to make some modifications. Let her go! <laughs> you act as though you have a say in the matter. Which you don't. Say hello to your- The prince was cast to his death into a pit of darkness, robbed of Farah distanced from the vizier he had been warned that his journey would not end well okay that got caught off and but do not be surprised the prince's transformation saved him sometimes good can come of ill sometimes shall i continue my story from here if you are called away? I, 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 go ahead <laughs> it's one of your stories I would say, Ori has been vibrating every cutscene so far. And also, hello, Rom. Hey, Rom. Hey. <laughs> dropping in just like the prince dropping into another pit. I think that's... I think in every game he's been dumped into a pit sometime now. <laughs> and hello to Rinchette Ultra Goldsmith. Yeah, yeah that's, that's happened a lot. 
Also, hi, everybody. Uh, you doing well, Rum? <laughs> Sleepy and kind of hungry, but yeah, well, outside of that. This is a fun okay. Place to start the tale next time. Uh, uh, let's see. I, I could share some of my shotgun with you if you want. Nah, I'm okay. Just express sent that. <sighs> Once again, you have denied us victory. Oh, true. How many times did I warn you that nothing good would come of pursuing that girl? We would not be in this situation if you had just stayed focused. Enough! All you do is taunt and insult me. I do not know what you are planning, but I know that I do not trust you. And I am ashamed that I ever did. I have nothing but noble intentions. I understand now what it means to be noble, and you are none of those things. You self-righteous bastard! I have put up with you for entirely too long. Be silent. Let me finish my task. And then we shall see what to do about you. Oh yes, I forgot who's really in charge. Did it remove? Oh yes, I forgot who's really in charge. Ooh. Uh, let's see, Ultra Goldsmith. I mean, she kind of makes the sands of time harder though. <laughs> not a lie, not a lie at all. And she has put yeah. multiple arrows in the prince's ass. But also in the enemy. Yeah. So she's an equal pain in the ass. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Hello, boys. And possibly girl? I still cannot figure out what the hell the, the shade thing is. I, they look somewhat like a dancer, but also not. It's, Yeah, I, I can't see for sure without taking a look. I only know they reused a... What's it called? A bo bone structure or something? Uh, I think it's called uh, a mesh. Or a model. Yeah, yeah they, they modify a model and, and reuse uh, its old animation in the last game. Yeah. Uh, let's see what's Goldsmith. Uh, in doubt, make them hermaphrodites. Or just Androgynous. Those have been somewhat popular through every era, even. I, I believe there's I, one why character was the that. Vibrating? That's because the Wait, game what? doesn't really like it when I move and the, I just make small movements up and down on accident when I'm trying to turn around. Uh, down, down. Hello. Down, down to Goblin Town. <laughs> and here are the yeah. goblins. <laughs> we can use the snack. There. What? Yeah, they, they, they drop sands of time, which is basically a snack for the Dark Prince. Don't eat sand, alien. Have your tea. Uh. Oop. There we go. No. Not that way. So, yeah, that way. Okay. Uh, as I was saying, I think there was a character in Greek mythology who was considered the, the most beautiful person of the era or something, or maybe they thought out of that of themselves. And I believe they were pretty androgynous. Yeah, I think that the, that's where the term co uh, comes from, from his name, or their name in this case. But I don't know the correct term here, but I don't want to be rude. But I, it's not it's not Narcissus. Oh, that, that, that one... Uh, in the, the, there are many terms named after a god. Androgynous is one. Narciss narcissist one is also a, a different one. I think God is the wrong term there, a mythological figure more. Listen, and look around. We are in a well. But do you hear water? Do you see it? Feel its moist embrace? Why, I think it's gone. <laughs> I think the vizier has drained it. How long do you think you can maintain your health, your control of the body? Yeah, it would make sense for the Vizier to get rid of water sources since, well, 
sand creatures do not like water at all. They are terrible at staying hydrated. Okay, those do look like women. Just only show the. What the heck is supposed to be? But they're not dancers. Yeah, if we find if we've got artwork of them unlocked, we could. Shut up, DP. If we have artwork of them unlocked, we can probably figure it out through that. Oop. Too early. And too late. Okay. Well, this is one way to get a shave. And the Dark Prince does need a shave. Or a haircut at the least. Am I distracting you? Oh. Um. Yeah, need some breakfast over there, Rum? I need to sleep. But I'm also hungry. Yeah, yeah. Like, good pack. Oh, I see that. Uh, be lunch. Alright, but yeah, I, I, I get it. You can see a noise. You want to sleep, but your belly is complaining. Yeah. It, Congratulations, now you need extras. <laughs> so you just love it when you use your... Well, now the Prince and the Dark Prince are dead. <laughs> yeah, now they need a snack. And a nap. Oh! Oh, uh, thanks to Roma, I finally understand why you keep calling him DP. <laughs> Dark Prince. Yeah, that just dawned on me. Dick what did you Prince. think it stand for instead? Like Dick Bang, I have no Dark. idea. I, I, I plan to ask you what the heck does you mean with DP? And thanks to Rum, I accidentally. Uh, what do you call it? I accidentally get the answer? <laughs> uh, <laughs> get out. I let, I'll take that loss. We already lost a lot of health there. And yeah, we could slow down that trap since we do have regenerating sand. Just need to get back to it and not accidentally walk into it. Uh, again, it, it is a bit of a double-edged sword TikTok with this form. Since, well, we basically have infinite sand, but we have Feeling a time thirsty. limit. Feeling dry. Oh, am I distracting you? Actually, does the rate at which it decays slow down when we slow things down? Yep, bad timing. Okay, let's, let's keep moving. We've still got a decent amount left, but we really do need to find some water. Or some sand somewhere around here. Yep. Really? Oh, come on. Almost. Yeah. I think it might actually be better to try and... Yep. <laughs> to roll through on normal speeds. Because if you walk through, you, you're likely to just hit your toes on the blades. Uh, oh, there. I almost didn't see that in time. Okay, at least the timer has been reset. Um, lower and lower. Lower. Let's time see. is precious. Yep. Time is fleeting. <laughs> time is something you have too little of. Yep. Shut up, you. <laughs> okay. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> I, did, I didn't spot the thing until... Oop. Oh yeah, the bad version of the arrow traps that are wasting arrows. Oop. Out of sense. Not out of time. Would you like a drink? Oh, for love of... I thought you paid yourself to realize that was not a spike of your own dagger. <laughs> and when then we die mid-jump. Uh, let's see, Ultra Goldsmith. In doubt, I always break everything while in DP mode. 
<laughs> slow down this one maybe okay and there we just got laughed ah okay at least it should have put on a bit of a checkpoint hopefully nope oh well tick tock prince tick tock shut up you're not a bloody crocodile from peter pan feeling thirsty feeling dry oh am i distracting you uh, yeah, the Dark Prince is not our friend, not in the slightest. Yeah, and I was not one, but did I do this to you when I was just a voice in your head? <laughs> because it's annoying as all hell. True, I'm too nice. I, 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 I gladly pull his legs sometimes, but I, I do try to be careful. Okay. There. Here. We really do not have a lot of time to get off that one. Okay. Then we just drop down a bunch. Mm. No, not really. Yeah. Time is precious. Time is fleeting. Time is something you have too little of. Okay. Reset the clock. Come on, gimme. Okay. There. Oh, would you like a drink? <laughs> Sarcastic asshole. Actually, uh, I would like a drink. I have a drink over here. Hey, have any of you seen Cheyenne Mountain? Uh, what? Uh, the Cheyenne Mountains? Okay, I can't uh, remember. Uh, well, uh, Cheyenne. Okay, remember when we did those streams where we watched Stargate SG-1? Yeah. Oh, the, the mountain that the base is under? Uh, yes. Move! Yeah. I, I, I knew of them, but... I don't... I, I don't know if you see the pitch group it. There's a, a thing we... A thing I pretty much just said was take a shot anytime they show an outside shot of the Yen Mountain Complex. Yep. Oh, Damn it. yeah. I'm so glad I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh. Just at the very end, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's see. The DP wishes he is the he is the Peter Pan crocodile. Uh, imagine if the Dahaka and the DP combined with each other as a boss fight. So basically, the Dahaka with DP's chain. That would have been utter hell. But then again, it did have its venom tentacles and such. Not that it used it too much. Yeah, but that would definitely be an interesting Tick -tock, fight. Tick -tock. Okay, just gotta time things Tick -tick right. Thirsty. Make Did good use lie. of our time powers. Oh, am I distracting you? Up. And away. I think it actually falls away when we jump away. Okay, badly timed there. Uh, timing, that's all, yeah. Uh, what the? If what you the? A break, by all means, Why the? Take your time. Uh, Why did it just do this? Oh. Uh, did, did I? I'm, hmm. I don't have any keys that should have led to that. Is that maybe one of the macro keys on my keyboards? Huh, but those shouldn't be connected at all to anything. That, yeah, that was what, that was weird. What, what was it? That that burly looked like our old style, or or that was a uh, one you used. Uh, no, I, it was a run when we started to use these background swings. Yeah, that was one I had. Uh, was it edited? Uh, no, that was another. Uh, <clears throat> that was another overlay that came with the the pack that I bought that we originally used. Uh, that I had planned out for DS streams, or Nintendo DS streams. But oh. I never got to removing that. Hmm. Okay, continuing okay. on. Okay. I, I probably should make an updated version of that, because I do want to move into Nintendo games sooner or later. Uh, I, do, I, I do plan to be streaming... Uh, <clears throat> The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker 
There are Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks as Time one is Time uh, is chain. Time is something you have too little of. Yeah. Okay, taking damage, but we'll heal you anyways. But yeah, just weird that it's. I, I'm pretty sure I don't have any button sets that oh, would, would like lead to that. But... Oh well. What happened happened, and we are really low on health. Yeah, probably going to fail again here. Yep. Come on! I did. Oh, I moved too far away from the sand to pick it up. Yeah, that yeah, that was just dumb of me. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put in a counter with this. Just how many times does Hillian fail this part? Feeling thirsty, feeling dry. Oh, am I distracting you? Okay, might have been hit by the blue darts. Could be. The answer is forty-two. See there. Yeah, I, I don't think we'll finish tonight with this, even though we still have over an hour. There. You never know. Unless we are really close to the end, and we have been finishing games unexpectedly early in streams uh, recently. Yeah. Time is precious. Time is fleeting. Time is something you have too little of. Oh, come on. Okay, at least this time, pick up the sand. I, I walked away before it was fully formed from its animation. Okay, no blow darts. Oh, would you like a drink? Would it count as blow darts since it, I think it's just plain uh, arrows? Blow darts are more darts, and those are arrows, yeah. Yeah. Okay, up here quick. All right, we should be good now. My emphasis on good <laughs> should. <laughs> Though I do want the good, of course. Okay. Ooh, that was close. Holy. Yeah. Father sword. What, what is it doing here? Oh, come on now. Did you really expect to find him alive? Even after everything you have experienced, still you hold out hope. Oh, Father. What have I done? What now, then? Gather up enough sand? Perform another grand rewind? Or perhaps you can return to the island and travel back to a time when he might still be saved. Maybe rescue a damsel in distress along the way. No! You are right. I have been like a child. Naive and arrogant. Always rushing to undo my mistakes. Never facing the consequences of my actions. No more. I accept what I have done. And all that it implies. What is this? You have no water? How did you... You hold no power over me now. Be gone. Retreat to whatever dark hole spawned you, and do not trouble me again. What okay. the heck? Well, that I'm was a power move. move. Not seem to like the light. Yes, yes, we know that. Didn't we tell you to get into your room and stay in there? <laughs> You're grounded, DP, so shut up. And also, that's a badass sword. Or yeah. Hmm. It, it's not a scimitar or, or some shield. It's not curved enough. It's, it's like a bit of a longsword 
with the edge of a scimitar. Is it a savory? Something like a... I, I think they are no... I don't know what sword it might be, just I don't remember its name. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ultra Goldsmith, sorry, reverted because of the sword Is or this where some. I should resume the tale next time. I will continue my story from here next time. I think he yeah. reverted for he. Uh... Yeah, basically, had a bit of a growing up moment. Yeah, he f he fully rejected uh, the Dark Prince there, or at least uh, told him to fuck the hell off while he was taunting him. And uh, yeah, now we have a permanent fla uh, glow stick. Because this thing doesn't take damage. But you can still hear them. Ah, there you are. Yeah, they, their invisibility here is a lot better than it was in Warrior Redim. And yeah, uh, to finish what uh, Goldsmith was saying, uh, or some sort of willpower, yeah, maybe a bit of, maybe a bit of both. Probably, uh, yeah, this this sword, or more likely the death of his father, uh, basically made him realize well all of that. Oh, there. Okay, you may be invisible, but you're not intangible. <laughs> I was walking right into that one. And yeah, basically forced him to face the consequences of his actions. And he has no way of reverting them this time. Because, yeah, he, he, he could have been dead for days. Or since the start of the siege or something. Doesn't explain what he's doing down here, but oh well. It... Unless he was thrown down here? Could be. Since we did, we did arrive during the siege. You have some yeah, really bad timing. Hmm? Hmm? You have some really bad timing. Oh? Who? Uh, That's just... No, I, I'm saying we have some really bad timing because the prince literally arrives as his home is being ransacked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He uh, oh, he is cursed with bad luck. This way. Let's see. Uh, Pharaoh killed his father before he left to the islands. Uh, is that an assumption, or is that something that is actually known? Uh, with the emoji there, I think he's pulling your legs. Probably. Yeah, Pharaoh wouldn't have a reason to kill a, a potential ally. Uh, no, this is uh, assumption. Shall I continue All right. Story? Good. This is a fine place to start the game. Okay. Oh, so this is the most over-engineered well or reservoir that we've seen so far, and basically every building in this series has been over-engineered to hell and back. Like, must I remind <laughs> you the brothel with the saw blades <laughs> saving security system? Just trying to get to your own house, so you have to like parkour through like half the block and the dodge spears and saw blades just to be able to get to your living room. Yeah, and then you have to reload all those things in case someone does try to break in. Uh, there's there's multiple web comics that have poked fun at all that. Ooh. Yeah, I, I suspect many of those traps are supposed to be only activated during. A siege when they have broken in. Yeah. Uh, now I'm reminded of another meme, but I don't know if it has an actual name or anything. Uh, oh. Let's see how. It's a bit hard to describe, but it basically pokes fun at the castle doctrine or something. Uh, some old law in the states about home defense, like that the way it was intended, quote unquote, with musket and bayonet. Uh, you mean right yep. to bear arms? Uh, no, not that. Then I'm pretty sure they actually meant literal bear arms. 
Okay, knock, knock. There you go. And what are these supposed to be? Like, we could probably try to identify them by their helmets. Byzantines, maybe? The prince's eyes had finally been opened to the true nature of his corrupt half. That cruel and charismatic voice which once whispered in his ear. It had subtly encouraged our burdened hero to do wrong. But now, the voice was stilled. The prince's mind once more his own. Okay. okay. Should I continue from here when you return? It does feel like we are building towards the climax. Because the, the prince has basically completed his character arc. And really, again, just a bunch of sand dollars in a chest. Okay. How were you supposed to get water from this well when the way through is just this? I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be filled up partially, at least. Yeah. <clears throat> I was just wait, these traps are here. To keep any invaders as assassin from using these as an entry. Yeah, like any dwarf fortress player will know. Uh, Buff will try to crawl up through your bloody wells. Lead them into the light. Strike while they are blind. Yeah, shut up. Their blade blinds him on its own. Yeah, that, that's mostly just the game giving hints to combat stuff. So he is supposed to still be, well, still. Let's see. We have somewhere that way. That's too far away. Let's see. Goldsmith. Google says, because the prince altered the timeline by saving Kailina and killing the Haka, Babylon was attacked by the force of the vizier who drove Sharaman into the palace catacombs and killed him. Okay, and game got unselected again for some reason. I'll still need to find some way to try and fix that permanently. There's probably some way I can do that. But I'm not going to look that up midstream. Yeah. Oh. What are those? Are those writings? No, nope. yeah, they look no. too uniform to be writing. Nah, it looks more like... Uh, I don't know, patterns, I guess? The sort of patterns you have when you're like... Yeah, decorating. Like Oop, yeah, decoration. Lucky. Oop. Yeah, somebody looked at like decorated patterns, but there was someone earlier that looked like writing. Uh, on the lower level. Late. Okay. Yep. This might take a few tries. Remember how many times you failed at the at the little lottery game in binary domain? Yeah, I still need oh. to. Yep. Come on. I still need to patch that together. Oh, you had to go there, didn't you, Rom? <laughs> and that's her last sand. And that's her death. Uh, what let's does that even go kill us? At best, it break one of our legs. Have we broke both own and chains and toes and heel? Goldsmith. The only mystery left is the prince's real name, because I don't believe his name is the name they gave him in uh, in the movie. No, it uh, isn't. This is where somewhere where he's just the prince. Yeah. Uh, Wait. So, are, oh are yeah, slow me, down would have done wonders there. Tell me, I'm the only one here who knows his actual name. He has a name. Yeah. Prince he's Ali, not... Ali Baba. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I could not resist. I would. I thought you were going for it. Yeah, we're going to say Prince, like the artist who, I think, actually changed their name to Prince. Or the artist formerly Lead known as Prince. The light. Strike while they are blind. 
Okay, actually we don't have to deal with you bullshits. Okay, but yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting that slow-mo is a thing that we can do in this game. What the? What the heck? Oh! Well, I guess I guess we need that. Hmm? Uh, I found a bit of a... Ice cream crack in my beard. <laughs> of course. What? Yeah, no, no. Mm -hmm. I forgot I was doing stream last year or something. I, I realized for some reason, for maybe two hours, I had a large piece of cracker in my beard, as I have not noticed. So we can call you Drakir the Cracker Beard? I was expecting you to say call me Polly for some reason. <laughs> no, we already have our. Argent Davises by that name. Uh. And of course their evil counterparts, Elop. Oh that name, seriously. I see what we need to do as. Uh. Hmm. And also hey. these guys actually thought they were fishmen. Okay. Fishmen made of sand. Uh, yeah, that, that, that was one of the things that I started to wonder, why, why are they made of sand? Did it dry up? Let's see. Goldsmiths, uh, oh, as in the Singer Prince? Yeah, that one. And then War North, Warlords, nice. And uh, Smith again. I'm assuming there's only two life upgrades missing. According to Warlords, I missed one, but there should still be one ahead. Mm. Oh dear. And yeah, even though we told DP to piss off, we're still marked by the chains. But more the chain. And well, the markings that spawned from it. So, he isn't truly gone. Yeah, that's a concern. And also, I think it's really. I think he was named in the older games and the first 3D attempt. Mm, maybe. Might be case that he was never named in this uh, trilogy. And to my knowledge, he remains unnamed. Which is also a bit of a double-edged sword. Ooh. Since... Mm, it does sound a, a little bit... Uh, okay, just fuck you as well. <laughs> it does come off a little bit generic, but it also gives a bit of mis mystique and such. Yeah, but also... The, when it was made, it was probably more accepted, but nowadays it would probably feel a bit more... cheesy. There, just barely reached that. <laughs> okay, what was that damn to uh, Goldsmith? The fact that I managed to snatch that guy as well with the charge up? Yeah. Actually, I think I know why I feel like a fucked up a fishman. They keep appearing around water and sewers. Speaking of, uh, it seems there is still some water in this well. Actually, there is a lot of it down there. Oh. Yeah, also can I see now, I mistook their other arm for a big fin. <laughs> no, it's just, I don't even know what to say. They call that the cave part or something. But more than just the cave, it is mutated. And I, I don't think it's that, uh, Warlord, or not war Goldsmith. Blech. Why did I mix you two up? All right. Uh, uh oh. And apparently they were responding to just that one sand creature getting smacked as well. Oh dear. Hmm. Okay, that's just back. Oop. 
There we go. Yeah, you, you see what they mean with that one being mutated? Yeah. Oh, more of you? I, it, they, they all almost basically become a combination of of being a shield and a weapon, like a like a bladed arm shield. Yeah, actually, there is a blade in there, so they basically had a, a sword fused to their flesh somehow. Yeah, unless it's sharpened bone. Yeah, it looks metal to me. Oh, come on. But there is a thing called arm shield. I don't think it was used for warfare and more for sparring. Okay. Speaking of blades, uh, I'm missing the warrior. I, I missed the warrior within the end. Okay. Uh, yeah, we did get the, the true ending. Uh, yeah, should yeah, some, it be up yeah. on YouTube soon? Uh, I think it should be already. I'll need to double check. I, I've cleaned up the, uh, my storage of the footage of the, the videos, uh, mm. earlier today. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You make a backup just in case. Uh, hey, you uh, got, yeah, I, you got I a keep water. a physical. Yeah, I, I keep a physical uh, backup of the uh, recordings. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, lovely. Uh, More of these. We were missing them, weren't we? Uh, let's see. Goldsmith, did you get the yellow blades uh, while sand rays? Uh, yellow blade, yellow blade. We got the... The water hmm. sword. Yeah, we got the water sword, but I... Oh yeah, we uh, we did get we did get that uh, sub weapon. We did get that. Yes, uh, warlords led us to it, I believe. Or they yeah, pointed it was out. Was it green? Uh, yeah, it was green actually. I think. Yeah, no, I'm sure was it yellow or was it green? Blind. Oh, hello there. Okay, I I got distracted by the chat the chatty program popping up with someone who's just started, and apparently the Alan Wake remaster is out. Yes, it's been out for for years now. The remaster. Wait, the sequel wait, was what was what got uh, announced in in oh, PlayStation right, yeah. showcase. Yeah, it, it got it, a re-release. Yeah, I, I've been seeing a lot of trailers for a, a new Alan Wake game, a new one apparently. I think. Yeah, I'm the sequel. Sure. The this, I there was news of the sequel recently, I believe. Yep, no time to show off, Prince. Yeah, however, there's one problem with that I noticed right away. Or mm -hmm. not right away, I just noticed it today. Epic exclusive. Yeah. Ugh. Shall I continue my story? I will continue my story from here. Like, I know they why are... they do that stuff. Like, they're trying to drive more customers towards the Epic platform. But by quote unquote stealing it from other people who do not want to use this platform, uh, yeah, they're just they're just shrinking their player base, and you can bet they're probably going to blame uh, that for a reason not to do more with it and just cut support early. Yeah, do do remember, people usually release their games one year after it to Steam. And people True, just learn to just wait when they released on Steam. True, but by that time, something uh, there's been a year of chance that something else big will have released on Steam, and well, will basically overshadow the uh, <laughs> the release of the hostage, so to say. Yeah, I don't think uh, developers soon. Just gonna stop uh, doing the exclusivities with Epic. Hopefully. Oh, Epic's probably gonna realize. Oh, people don't buy it because they just wait on Steam. But they got yeah. even more players to be exclusive me them only released for us. Says that they drew many developers to stop doing the exclusivities with them to begin with. Yeah, you would hope, but there's probably a bunch of uh, executives who are 
too stupid to realize that or too arrogant to admit it. Yeah. And Did we finally make to... it outside this doom? The place looks mm -hmm. slightly better built. Oh yeah, we, we did get out of the well now. Yeah. I didn't and... realize that, that until Rome said it. <laughs> and according to Goldsmith, that uh, yellow weapon would have been called the light sword. And yeah, now that Hang I think on. about it, the one we found was green, I believe. We found it in a lowered area that we yeah. you would normally jump over. It was glowing green, like a glow stick. Hmm. Or like a lightsaber. Let's see. Still have plenty of time. Yeah, it's uh... you from here when you return. Yeah, you can find it while playing as the sand wraith in the mystic caves. This is a fine place to Yeah, we really did that. Yeah, it's, it's uh, under a ground fog. Yeah, from the look of it, it seems to be green. The blade seems to be green. Yeah, then, okay. then we did find it, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it was but... in a foggy area. But did you find the teddy bear? No. <laughs> Luckily enough. Amusingly yeah. enough, the teddy bear does shit damage, but gives you back health upon hitting an enemy. <laughs> okay, Teddy gonna leech. It's also oh. unbreakable. A vampire Teddy. Is this Ooh. where I should I will continue my story from here next time? It, it's always nice when developers put in joke items like that, and it seems we've missed a few sand gates. <laughs> oh dear. And also thank you for think make me m remember Digimon called Voru Monsimon. Yeah, Monsimon is the teddy bear. Oh, oh yeah. Get, up. Get lost, you. Monsimon is basically his evil counterpart. I think I just figured out what enemy we were looking for. Oh? Uh, okay, so that enemy that we had no idea about its gender, it might be female because I found an enemy called the Enchantress that looks a fair bit like that one. Okay. And Chantress, okay! Like, the ones in Worry Within, they definitely sound male, with what they're saying, but they they look more like wraiths of a sort. And yeah, in, let's... in the last game they were more like sh sh sand shades. Here they are definitely more like mutated Enchantresses. Yeah. Hey, look, uh, we're shining the mothership. Uh, Wait. Shining the mo What? I mean, we're signaling the mother- Look! I don't know why, but there's pillars of light going up. Yeah, that, that's sand gates. Uh, we've uh, been shutting those down around the place, but there's still more in the city. Uh, let's see. Goldsmith, did you find the Mickey Mouse hand? <laughs> no, we didn't find that one. And Warlord okay, is saying no. we're getting closer to the last health upgrades. Okay. Ooh. Okay. What makes an elevator <laughs> this complicated? It's a lift. Yeah, we've already found uh, and passed the elevator. Uh, yeah, they have a fancier one inside, which they were apparently impressed by. <laughs> you threw yourself a little fire. For a moment, yeah, he actually died reviews. from that. Yeah, I was worried you got to the they killed him there. Uh, let's Oof. see. What do we actually need to do here? We, we can move this up and down, but I don't see an easy it. way to get it. Lower it. There. Wait. Uh, let's see. I'll tell you when you're on top of it. Okay, it's for moving up. Okay, the block that's in it. Okay, I'm guessing we need to pull that out at the upper floor, but we need to... F oh, wait, there's a ledge there. Once again, I proved to be blind. Okay. Oh, dear. So I was the only one who saw it? Yep. <laughs> yep. Get lost. Oh, good. You're being attacked by, by invisible fucking ninjas again. I, I, I do like that they are actually hard to see 
Just like uh, games that actually put you in pitch blackness, if when they are more put you in the dark and don't just uh, let you up your brightness to see that way. Like Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, if when you go into the depths, which is like a, an entire underground area of the map, when you are in the dark, you are in the fucking dark. Oh dear. Uh, don't three. Uh, maybe. Oh yeah, now I get what he means. Eh? Uh, okay, time to, to jump to it. Drop, thing. not throw yourself over the edge. <laughs> okay, okay, and then we just put this against the wall. Let's see, you need to move a block in lifts, what I remember. I thought you had a... Yeah, no, I don't have a guide. I used I used a guide with War Within for where the uh, the health upgrades were, because they were needed for the true ending. But I don't have one for here. Oop. But there is only one ending for this one. Yeah. Unless you remember wrong. Which I might, but I doubt. It's there. And while I do have a bit of a guide for the health upgrades in the form of Warlord. <laughs> thank you for that, by the way. If I failed to thank you for that before. Which I likely did. Okay. That way. Okay, back on solid freaking grounds. And again, just how are people supposed to traverse this architecture? Yeah, what the heck? Maybe there's regular... Maybe there's regular stuff that we just... And we're just taking the long way around. Okay, this is actually an act effective trap since it's... Just not giving you much time to pass through. Luckily, we have plenty of time. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. And we still get mauled. <laughs> big fail. You get Bear. it. Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Did he yanks himself? Pretty much. Uh, let's see, Goldsmith. Also, I think that uh, it's this game that lets uh, lets you jump up poles. Um, could be. We haven't seen it. Too many poles. Been a bit since I failed one of those. The heck. Okay. And yeah, let's drink up before we bleed out. Oh dear. At this rate, the prince is going to drown himself with how much water he drinks. Then again, just all this running like, around is probably dehydrating him quite a bit. I imagine he like drinks water and it just leaks out of him like in, a, like in an old Box Bunny cartoon. Oh, good God. <laughs> uh, yeah. What was that? I remember Wait. one cartoon who did that gag, but I'm blanking on it. You think um, many have, but I think I heard the dose have been censored out for some reason. Okay. Probably because of gun violence and such. Also, hi. Oh, wait, we're actually the climbing the damn Babylon. Tower of Babel. Uh, there's grass on the. Up here on the wall. Yeah. What? What? Why is the grass here? Apparently, we're also growing a fucking garden in the Tower of Babel. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's he means. Uh, I meant you know, Goldsmith. I meant the horizontal ones. Yeah, we've been doing that a few times. Uh, better words, next, uh, the next lot lifts and you're close, okay. Goldsmith, uh, Bugs Bunny, Tom and Jerry, nearly at the upgrade. Mm, I, I don't yeah. think it was either of them who did that gag, or at least the one that I'm remembering. They probably have done that gag at one point. Yeah, they have done it several times. 
Yeah. There's just one specific one, but I can't remember the name of the character. Hmm. Is it the ox guy? Uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, I don't actually know his English name, or I've forgotten it. But in Dutch, he's called Boos. As in B O E S. Yeah, for me, it sounds like you're trying to say bus. In Swedish. Bus. Do it also. Do if you say with one S, it would mean. Uh, Bus? Maybe. Uh, how would we try it? Prankful, I guess? Or playful in a prankish way? Mischievous? Uh, sort of, yeah. Okay. In a less uh, mean way. Yeah, that's mischievous, let's say. Yeah. Hmm. Lord, I feel like I've been giving... There have been a lot of Swedish lessons today to, to showcase someday. Yeah, because we had a Swedish game there. Yeah, but a Swedish voice actress has mostly been in uh, family or kids' cartoons and animations. And someday we see, hear her in a game with killer robots. Yep, no sneaking up on these. Yep. Well, that was easy. <laughs> now, now, boys, don't fall apart. Okay. Oh, I did not actually know there was one here. I was more going to smack these for extra sand, but we're already full. <laughs> okay, lucky find. Uh, let's see. I just realized, how the hell are we going to get down from the Tower of Babel? Good uh, question, if this yeah. even is Tower of Babel for... Uh, it's a, it's the tallest thing in sight. It, it's literally towering over the entirety of the city. We uh, did see that it was in the background a few times. Alright, point taken. Uh, was it top really like this? Mm. Like a PS2 era video game, so it's not like they can make it incredibly large while we're on it. True. True. Okay. <laughs> Warlord is going uh, off like a, a beeping sensor. Like beep, 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 beep. <laughs> really close to the health upgrades. Okay, I need to jump earlier. There we go. Alright. First of all, you missed it. Well, we did miss it the first run. Uh, sorry, what? No, we, I did miss it the first time. Let's see. That away. With some sand pigeons. Okay, <laughs> at least they scattered like normal pigeons. Let's have a look. I wonder how pigeon tastes, but I oh, know if you've... Like, you, 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 oh, you should never eat Street pigeons never eat those. Yeah. Like, I think I heard that forest pigeons that live naturally in the forest are apparently plump and tasty. Let's see. Uh, you mean down here? Warlords? This, yeah, this is off the beaten path. Uh, do keep in mind that uh, you are getting things a bit delayed. Let's see. But thank you all the same. Uh, across. Also, what's with this music? It sounds it sounds almost a bit industrial ominous. Yeah. Uh, wait, was there a key on those before? Or a scepter? Yep. 
Okay, just pop out of nowhere. Okay. I got a fun using that some traps they've been reusing to other games, like that spinny one right there. I feel like yep. these flicking flu ones and saw ones here are the only new ones. Yeah, and that was yeah, that was poorly timed. Architect is making a lot of money. There we go, just in time. Yeah, some of these rooms look it's more like a challenge room than a trap room. Well, they are a challenge trap to get a health upgrade. <laughs> yep. Oh, come on. He just <laughs> he just falls like a sack of potatoes. Uh, barely this time. Potatoes. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, maybe the music just sounds a bit like that to me because I've been playing a lot of Evil Genius 2. Oh yeah, that madness. We have one more. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't say that I'm not partially disappointed in Evil Genius 2, but you could probably also say that I had too high expectations of it. It is still a nice game. Um, not too sure how to say it, how it compares to the original, but it's still a very functional and nice game when you do need to put time into to get through. But luckily, it has a, a speed up a speed up time button, so that does lower things. Uh, but yeah, there are also just things you can complain about with that game. Like a lot of things take quite a bit of time. Yep. <laughs> Help! Um, do we keep the you... health upgrades? I hope you do. Otherwise. You leave the room with the health upgrade. <laughs> uh, actually, it looks like the yeah. Come on. Uh, let's well, see. Time to climb the Tower of Babel all over again. Wait. You... Oh, do we go that far back? Apparently. Yeah. Okay. Oh, come on! All for you. We're slap slopping your landing? Yep. Oh, that's it. That's it. <laughs> and Goldsmith is just laughing at me. Uh, let's see. Now that you are almost finishing game, I'm gonna sit <laughs> to just restart the game for that last upgrade. <laughs> no thanks. I'm gonna uh, better be Run? Yeah. Get the termites. They're gonna oh. unleash them on both Helia's wooden legs. Uh. Or at least his peg leg collection. <clears throat> okay, um. Wait. Uh, I need to bring the stone up first. Of course. <laughs> Um You forgot Stian. That also doesn't work. Uh, can you That can also you doesn't stop work? Stop try can you stop killing the prince? Okay, I'll need to check how to actually get back from that health upgrade area. And yeah, if I don't spot it too easily, I might just skip it. <laughs> bye bye, ladies. Okay. Uh. Yeah, that, that is a bit bold that I didn't put a checkpoint in between there. Oh well. But maybe if we'd moved a bit further along, that would have been a checkpoint. 
But, yeah, no use complaining about that now. I'm so glad I never played these games. Like, or, like I did test one of them, but... These, these are the levels that will make me mentally freak out. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I think we had a bit earlier where there was two checkpoints that were two fountains that were really close to each other. Like, a bit too close to each other to really make sense, but oh well. Yeah, but sometimes you also have times like this where you would expect a checkpoint, but there's none. But yeah, that's but just it's... With, that's just with design of this era. Yeah, this is when there, uh, there is, I feel like, should have more checkpoints. Okay, sort of time to charm. Okay. At the very least, we still have Sharaman's sword, which is really powerful. It's really funny if you died and you lost the sword somehow. Yeah, that and would be uh, annoying. It yeah, it would be annoying. <laughs> yeah. Nope. I know it's impossible because endgame weapon. Yeah, wait, yeah. I should have something. Helio butchered the name, he said Sauron. Yeah, I, I, I tried to say Sharaman. I hear you, and I see you. What? Was it the Sharaman or something? Yeah. But you said Sauron, man. That's in Lord of the Rings, Sauron. Okay, I'm pretty sure I didn't butcher it that bad, but oh uh, well. I saw you there. They do have their own little model, those assassins. They, they look a bit like a slimmed down version of the archers, which we actually haven't seen in quite a while. Oh, uh, I hope we don't. Uh, well, let's be honest, don't archer on this level? Yeah. They, Actually, they yeah. would shoot us down quite literally. Yeah, and I think that's uh, one of the reasons I feel like Onis for this is one of the they would love to pack so many archers as possible. The only thing I'm surprised about is the other games we played, they love to put bats on these levels. Okay, now how do we actually get down from there? We can't go to that because we'll fall to our death. Uh, I'm guessing we could run along the... No, we couldn't run along the wall. We could jump from the pole to back there, maybe? Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, that, that's the area with the extra health face. Yeah. Let's go do this bit again. And, yeah, hopefully not get ourselves stuck because that would pretty, be pretty bad design. Yeah, like, I, I, I thought you would respawn by the well that you drank before entering the puzzle. Yeah, but that's been only if we die or fall down in here, in the uh, challenge. Oh. Okay, that's just weird, actually, in a way. And this water is... Hang on. Man, this water ain't shit for us to teleport into an entirely different dimension. <laughs> Oh, come on. That was a bit far away to be hit by that. Okay. Just gotta wait for those. And go. And luckily, they don't hurt when they're still turning in. Uh, just short. Uh, <laughs> Goldsmith, all hail the Wizard King, Sharwan. Oh, good hail God. Professor King Christopher Lee, who may or was probably also Dracula, but we don't really ask about that. Wait, what? He played Dracula in the old, uh, in the old movies. Did not know that, and I... I should have, but I don't even know how Christopher Lee looks. 
Uh, just take the uh, just take the the sorrow man uh, look, and uh, give him a shorter haircut, and basically basically his Count Dooku look. And, Wait, is yeah. Count Dooku, Dooku Christopher Lee? Yeah. Oh right, it is. <laughs> and let's see, Goldsmith. He also had a metal band. Yes, indeed, he had. Wait, uh, what? Can we actually survive this? Yes, we can. I was honestly expecting that to be a death fall. I'm if... still gonna do some breathing <laughs> exercises after this. Oh, oh. okay. Hmm? Uh, what's wrong? No, is that Hillian just went backwards and almost threw himself off the ledge. Yeah, yeah. that gave me almost a heart attack. The prince deciding that the laws of gravity don't apply to him again. Or the laws of mass. <laughs> okay. What about the laws of karma? Hmm. Now I just have a bit of a thought. Uh, yeah, something I'll need to check. I don't think the the mark on him has expanded now. But I had the thought, what if the health upgrades with each of them that the markings expand? But I'm pretty sure they've expanded and shrunk at times, and those go quick. I'm pretty sure those are just tattoos. No, I mean the glowing ones. The ones that are coming from a... Uh, the infected arm, so to say. Ow! Yeah, that, that's a tattoo that began glowing once it got infected with the sands of time. Yep, yep, come on. Hell, don't you dare. Dude, at least reach a checkpoint before we all do, before we have to redo all this shit. Well, out of sands. Come on! Why? Does that put us all the... No, okay, they checkpointed us. Oh, Luckily. Love. Thank you, gaming gods and goddesses. Thank you. Oh, oh come on. It, it popped up that quick again? Yeah. Even though it was you. slowed. Thank you. That was just the game pranking us. Oh, dear God. Uh, I think I'll, I'm gonna try to lower my own volume a little. I hope I'm not getting too loud. Yeah, uh, not for me, at least. Yeah, but I also have to think about other people in the building and, uh, and rooms and such. There we go. There. Easy enough. We'll probably get a bit of a refill. No refill. Okay. Uh, bad. No. Ah, and I mess it up on that, huh? <laughs> okay. Well, oh, last sands. Make it count. No. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> Seriously, Hillian? Uh. Okay, Rom, I'll let you decide what kind of punishment we should give him. Something better uh. than termites. There. Let's skip this one entirely. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, now you give us sand. Okay, let's see. And up, just runs face first into it. Are these going at the same speed? They look to be. So when is the right moment to actually go? A bit later than the second one going down. Because then this one is bypassed. And then we fill the... There, 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 and there. Okay. 
I don't get why some of those spring uh, those uh, springboards don't seem to react as well. Or maybe I'm just failing, of course. The game's running too fast or something. There. Like, I'm pretty sure the game is supposed to be running only at 30 frames per second, and it's probably running at 60-ish. Hello there. Been a bit since we've been able to brutalize one of you. Yeah, I'd say it's very clear where Assassin's Creed got the brutalize options from. Or the, the brutalize uh, kills from. There we go. Uh, any extra sands in here? Nope. And just more property damage. Okay. One, two. Okay, we've got three. I'm back. Twenty minutes. Hey, the look, there's, look, there's grass on your feet. Yeah, up in Touch a grass. freaking stone tower. Oh, more grass. Wait, what? Uh, uh oh. Oh, that was easy? Yeah. Okay, I do think we are getting close to the end of the game. So, yeah, if we don't manage to finish it in uh, the time that we have left, we can extend it a bit. Uh, okay with it, as long as we don't extend it to one hour. Yeah. And uh, wait, hang on. Let me get my best Frenchman voice. Uh, One hour later. Oh good. <laughs> oh good. <laughs> okay, that was kind of a good impression, I say. Yeah. That's the most I heard. Okay, we can leave the dancer and, alone. I don't like SpongeBob. I have grown to like some of the jokes. Yeah. Oh, Goldsmith, another thing about Sour Man. He actually had the title of Sir, yeah, he was knighted, I believe. Yeah, wait. I just remember, he actually had met Tolkien. Yep. I believe the only one of the actors. Oh, yeah. At least the current, current living actors at that time. Other actors have oh, met him, uh, but it was probably the last surviving one. Yeah, I, I meant the only actor of the the cast of the Lord of the Rings films. Oh, I believe. Right. I, oh yeah, he also taught he also told Peter Jackson how a person would react to being stabbed in the back <laughs> because he was a spy in World War II. <laughs> he was one <laughs> of the many inspirations for James Bond. Oh. Yeah. oh. Yeah, you could say he had a very, very interesting life. Oh, good God. And one would think Onus Schwarzenegger... I can't say his name without the accent pronouncing it. Arnold? Yeah. It, he's one of those that really... Did the bull uh, almost shout this uh, uh, dream of becoming strong, becoming a movie star, a governor, and all that? And here, across the video, that was bloody spy and became a movie star. Yeah. <laughs> uh, why are we not? We're not. We're not close enough to the stupid thing, aren't we? Uh, wait. Um, Let's Please see. tell me Christopher Lee is still alive. Oh, he is. Uh, he, he died a while back. Oh. Okay, is this just a, f a design flaw or something? Uh, let's see. Goldsmith, the guy is a fucking legend. Wizard, soldier, metalhead, the list goes on. Yeah. There we go. Okay, that was a bit annoying. Now I'm gonna with mental image of Sauron with an electrical electric guitar. Uh, it, it makes sense now that he, al he also played the wizard who got into industry. <laughs> A metalhead wizard. Oh, good God. 
Okay. Progressing steadily. Like th there were some s sections in Warrior Within that were definitely a chore uh, because we had to fight through them. But yeah, combat is going plenty easy so far. Maybe not yeah, easy, but good. I just realized. Why is there a tree up here? Yeah. And it's clearly grown from the. Whoa. What the heck is going on? More sense of time shenanigans? Uh, maybe? I, 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 guess, I guess you wouldn't want a decorated tree or something in a power god, but. That it's is. Oxygen. I mean, the, the higher you get in the air, the less oxygen there really is. Yeah, yeah, yeah but. Yeah. yeah, but the question is. How the heck did you get that big of a tree up here? There we go. Um, one there? really large... One really large... Um, not tap. Um, wait, wait, what did you just say? Sap? No, 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 it wasn't sap. I'm trying to think of a... Oh, sap. Sap, you know, like tree sap. I, I thought you said a completely different word. I thought you said not sack. <laughs> that exactly. would have been an but interesting a, tree. Okay, no. It is, <laughs> no, a really oh, large uh, seed, and then I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, in one timeline they did have access to this. Wait, no. Did they, why the fuck did they? Do that? Who had the sense of time back in the first game? Uh, the Maharat. Uh, no, the. Not the Maharaja, but the Paris people. Uh, I don't think they're ever actually named as to who they are, I think, where I just forgot. Oh, give me a minute. Uh, let's see, Warlords. Looks like you only got five out of the six health upgrades, but it should not matter, yeah. Uh, Goldsmiths, I guess the Vizier likes nature. Yeah, he could have been screwing around with uh, stuff Indian. here as well. The prince, uh, okay, the, they were Indians. Oh yeah, they uh, they were they were passing through India. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see. And India used Ma Maharaja, I think, as a title. And no, it was the Maharaja that they traveled to after well sacking India, or the the palace in India. Uh, let's see, warlord. Comparing this to warrior within, would you say the traps are much harder in thrones? Um. The, Ooh, the traps question. come up a lot more. I, do they come up more? They are more. They're more memorable. In in Warrior Within, there were a lot of very easy trap parts and such. And Goldsmith life uh, finds a way. <laughs> Jurassic Park reference. A reference that they memed way way more over the years. Yeah. And then we have Warlord. The... Okay, I missed that though. That was retreating. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I can see that. that. No, that it, it's very Amharaya clean. was the ruler of India. And what? apparently, okay. Farah's old man. Wait, what? Okay. Can, can you repeat yourself there? Uh, the Maharaja was the uh, ruler of India. Okay, yeah, yeah, so they, they basically sacked a smaller kingdom uh, in India and then yeah, went for the head I, Hanjo. I think India had many kingdoms at that time. See, that's and, what I'm going with what I can find. Okay. Uh, warlords, the vizier was in the first one. You killed him, remember? Yeah, we beat up an old man <laughs> uh, who was already dying from something. And also, I love he must have respawned due to changes. Yeah, he he's he yeah. Resp he the the prince never killed the the act the 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 prince never uh, killed him. Yeah, the events of sense uh, of time never happened, so he was also never killed. And yeah, it also meant love how that the climax uh, of sense of time is the prince beats up an old man after rewinding time. Yeah. Oh dear. 
And yeah, because of War Within, the uh, Sands of Time never happens in the, the timeline, at least. The Prince still remembers everything. And why, why the hell again this? And yeah. everything's on fire again. Somebody hit the uh, somebody hit the reset button. We got technical difficulties. You know what? And Rob turned into a wolf again. Oh, so I got my old go. image. What the fuck? Just removed the entire scene. I'll put that back together some other time. I, there must be some sort of key combination that I put in or something. Or some change scene shortcut or something. Yeah. Anyways. It's strange. Uh, let's see. Goldsmith. But the prince kills the vizier at the end of the first game. Yeah, but... Uh, <clears throat> uh, because... Uh, <clears throat> Because the prince prevented the creation of the Sands of Time, there was never... The, the Maharaja never found the Sands on the Island of Time. And thus the Vizier had to change plans and you know, the events of Sands of Time never happened. Instead, he, well, just straight up conquered the place. Yeah, now you see why she made... why Faramir had forgotten him twice. Yeah. Like even the even the new timeline parts from War from Sands of Time never happens. What does that do? Okay, it opens that gate there. So you pick ten sand bucks. Yeah. You may wonder why I would let this come to pass. So many dead, and likely more to follow. An empire reduced to rubble. A prince cast to the streets and hunted like a common criminal. But I had seen the timeline. And of all the outcomes lay bare to me, this one held the most promise of them all. But the okay. prince would have an opportunity to set things right. Architecture change? Them. See the thing of which I speak. You could have given a heads up on this, Kylie, now. Now, where did I put those What is it? In case I don't get the chance again. You impudent pig! I offer you life eternal, and this is how you respond? Oh, I shall enjoy changing you. Hello, Prince. Not quite the homecoming you expected. Yep, yeah, boss fight. That motherfucker sneaks up on us immediately. Uh, Wait, so his it? name is Zorfan or something? Yeah, he has now renamed himself to. Fuck me, I forgot. Hang on. Yeah, Wait, is that you said or something. that? Okay. To Irvin. Not but yeah. <laughs> There's, did you just punch out Cthulhu as a throw, but she just spits in his face instead? Yeah. Oh, Immortal love you. perhaps, but not invincible. You ever think of the fact that a lot of bad guys try to be immortal and it's like, I am now immortal, and you just empty an M16 into them and then the game just, and that was, that's that. They live among mindless monsters in service to your madness. It is the price of progress. Yeah, whose progress? Yours or theirs? Oh, dear. Okay, you have a point there, Rom. Uh oh. Ow. I'm not going to be able to check on chat as much since I need to dodge this dumbass. Can I actually get to him? Seeds too. Right, jumping onto the structures are floating. Yeah, if I touch them, they break and cause damage. Maybe. Hmm. Ow. Okay, well, tight. Right. There we go. Okay, there we go. 
almost. The the the, the speed kill. Come up, game up. Yeah. Ow, ow. <laughs> I think you uh, let's redo that. Rewind. Uh, let's see. Jafar was his name. Uh, are you watch the Disney Aladdin films? It has Jafar in most of them and the prince. <laughs> Stage two. I think the prince is based around the Disney film, sort of. Uh, I don't think so. it's probably more a uh, Arabian one hundred and or a th was it one hundred and one or a, th a thousand and one Arabian Nights stuff. A thousand which and one Arabian a, Nights, I think. Yeah. Yeah, which is a collection of a lot of uh, Middle Eastern fairy tales. Also, just for the record, the loading screen is literally the Tower of Babel. Yeah. Yep. And we can uh, we can have another here for his name. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, we can. Now, where did I put those? Zervan. What yeah, Zervan or something like that. Okay. Yep, he's just going to play a freaking Jedi trick. If he was any smart and not an arrogant asshole, he would stay in the air. Immortal, perhaps, but not invincible. So this is what the first time that no, the second time. I just has a character voiced by Yuri Lewis. Oh my God! To my people. Did he just throw that into himself? Among mindless monsters in service to your madness. Yes, he was a protagonist in Persona 3, and okay, he didn't really kill Nick, but he does stop collective and the collective desire for death of humanity to, you know, get to her. And he was just in Persona 4, and he helped kill. Tsunami, and I don't know. And then there's the prince. Shut up, you! Take your injection of steel. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey, we gotta win. That was not an injection. That was a decapitation. Actually, that was more of a. Oh, severance. Yeah. Uh, and we've got another severance package severance package for him. Um, ow. Let's redo that. Because for him being the god of time and all, he can't seem to rewind time. Yeah. Rip and tear or slice. There we go. Cut him up into little pieces. Let's see how many more chicken wings we can carve out of you. He looks more like an insect now. And now he gets smart after he lost his damn wings. Yeah, he, okay. he looks like a twisted version of a. Biblical accurate angel. This says something. Ow, really? Congratulations, you have accidentally committed suicide in the final boss. He died by breaking uh, his own nose. Which way from here? Okay, where do we need to go from here? Oh, oh there's a little platform there. Okay. There, then over there. Yep. Oh dear gods. Yeah. Just barely reached that. Oh dear yeah. god. Next. And yeah, I, I don't think this game ha this uh, prince has anything to do with uh, the Disney uh, stuff, <laughs> Warlord. Yeah, I, I, guess it, I think the only inspiration they made gotten from Disney is the parkour, but that's it. 
And yeah, even that's... then, that was already a thing from the original Prince of Persia. They yeah, that, that as well. Mm, let's see. In the films, he is the sultan in charge of the kingdom. There was a prince and a princess like Farah and evil vizier Jafar. Or J yep. That's the stream timer, but we're at the final boss, so we can just keep going. So there is some similarities in the game and the films. But, hmm, get it. <laughs> Aladdin doesn't have any time travel stuff, though. It's, it's just general setting similarities more than, yeah, anything more than that. Yeah, well, Aladdin is set in Arabia, or Andropa in this case. This is set in Persia and Babylon, and wherever the other island was. Yeah, just out on sea. Yeah. Why are you so annoying to dodge now? Yeah, I guess the whole story is they all were set in the Middle East. Can we even block, counter these? You don't, you dodge. Hmm? Or you hit first. Up. You don't mind, I gotta go to the bathroom. Be right back. Okay, see ya soon. Yep, see you soon! I am immortal. Immortal perhaps, but not invincible. Get here, you oversized chicken. You will pay for what you have like done to my people. He does look like a, a roasted chicken somewhat with that color of his. They live among yeah. monsters in service to your madness. Yeah, the I thing is, Vizier, uh, the thing Vizier is, progress is supposed to advance everyone, not just dumb one fuckhead. Shut up. Oh yeah, I've been trying to figure out what he looks like, but for me, he ended up looking like a mix between a lobster and a grilled chicken. <laughs> And I'm not sure there. what I got lobster parts from. Probably the claws slash wings. I'm pretty sure if you, if you were a god of sorts, you'd make yourself a prettier looking thing than this thing. Then again, uh, this might be his idea of pretty. Which, no judging, I guess. That was a dumb one. There. I do like that. Oh, there we go. I do like that this boss fight actually involves a bunch of parkour as well, instead of just being a beat em up. Love it. Yo yourself. If I try this, I will. I will probably ask someone to help me. Oh come on. Just too low for that. I should. Uh, for people who don't know, I n I'm bad at jumping puzzles. So when people play. I don't know if I got to play like Nintendo 8 bit. Oh, that yeah. was probably that was many. Shield. Like the earliest attempt I could have a parkour in those games. Jump for that. Then there. Does look a bit far. Nope. Close enough. Here. There. Not. Come on. It. Okay. Awkward perspective. Okay, getting closer and closer. Need to focus so I can't focus on chat. That was a close one. Okay, incoming. Right. I think I heard him attack there. Oh. No. Damn it, wasted the last sand. Okay. Now it's time to waste you.
where are these? Oh, there's his father's swords. Did he throw it at him at some point? Dagger. This world was not meant for me. But there are others, and I will find my place, just as you have found yours. Be free now, Prince. Your journey is at an end. What is it? All that is yours is rightfully mine. And mine it will be. Surprise! What? Extra boss fight over! Surprise, final boss! Yeah, that, when you saw the foot of the race, oh right, that ain't the, that's, where, where, where's what's that came from the trailer? Holy shit, we have a fucking shirt. What did you expect? That when you slew the vizier, I would simply disappear? Oh, but you are so blind. Your rage, your pride, your selfish ways. They gave me form and substance. Even with the sands gone, I have the strength to remain. And with the vizier gone, I can take your place and rule the kingdom. And there is absolutely nothing you can do about it. What the heck is going on? We are in the prince's mind, I think. With the ability yeah. to manipulate time itself, you had the chance to be the greatest king the world has ever known. What wars you could have fought, what monuments you could have erected in your honor, what women you could have had. But you failed me, Prince. You grew soft and sympathetic. My attempts to convince you to seek glory fell on deaf ears. So I bided my time, waiting for the proper moment to strike. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I remember the ending of the last game, there was a... a well, big hood uh, guy. Hello. I almost this forgot him. This is a callback. Yeah. You do not deserve what you have been given. Control of the world's greatest empire. With the power at your command, you could rule the world. You have squandered it, Prince. I would do it justice, and so it should be mine. You are just a parasite! You deserve nothing! But don't I? Have I not earned it? Do you think you would be here now if not for me? How many times did I save you? How many times did I unblock your path, take down your enemies, remind you of your mission, while all you did was cry about your father, and Kylina, and Pharaoh, how everything bad always happens to you? Boo-hoo, Prince! Your words are empty, have always been empty. You are just a desperate, selfish spirit. If I am selfish, Prince, it is because you are. If I am ruthless and reckless and lacking in morals, it is because you are. I did not spin myself out of the ether. I was not conjured by some mad vizier. I am you. No, I have seen the error of my ways, and I have atoned for the transgressions of my past. I am no longer that person. Seasons change, tastes change, but people People never change. And you delude yourself believing otherwise. Do not fight me. 
Set down your sword. Embrace me. Not that way. Uh, yeah, you can't actually die during this. What do you want of me, game? To keep going. Ah, there we go. It was swapping between the different lengths. Let's not jump next to it. Do you need to kill me then? To cut me down like all your other enemies? Swing that sword, Prince! <laughs> We've seen how well that works. Uh oh. This manifestation of his own silence. self? Your anger serves only to feed me. So I have to ask, have you really changed? After all, I am still right here, standing before you. And yeah, no matter how many we smack away, they will continue to multiply. So, how do you defeat your violent side? Don't feed it. Very, very bright. Uh, okay, Wake there. Wake up. Farah? Are you all right? I think... I think it's finally over. <laughs> Pretty sure he was supposed to start begging as we went up the stairs, but oh well. I think it was because Thanks. he mostly... Kept hitting him. There's still something I also, don't look at his left. Also, look at his right arm. How That's a tattoo. Really know my name? Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I really am and why I say this. Come. And I will tell you a tale like none you have ever heard. And that's okay. when you rewind back to the first game. <laughs> and that is Prince of Persia, the Two Thrones. Now, let me scroll back to chat a bit. Uh, actually, if I do that, the game will stop, I think. Uh, let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Now up the stairs, yeah. Uh, Battle Warlord, nice one. Are you studying Prince of Persia sometime then for content? Yeah, we will be playing the 2008 <clears throat> Prince of Persia game as well. And uh, yeah, you convinced me to try Forgotten Sands as well. But yeah, that's the end of the trilogy at least. And um, what do you think, Rakir? Very good games. All three yeah. in their own way. That good music too, all of them. Yeah. Like, Sands of Time is still considered the best of the trilogy by most, but I'd say that it is the most innovative of the three, uh, but I think they still, as a trilogy, fit together best. Yeah. Uh, Warrior Within has its uh, weak spots, with also with just a massive swing in feel, but... I think that adds to the memorability of it, like it, it just how different it is and how the pendulum swings back. Like I'm pretty sure if Bori Within wasn't so dark, we wouldn't have had, we would have, they, they might not have come up with the idea of the Dark Prince. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, da, 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 nice one. Have you played the 2008 remake? Yes, I have, and I finished it. It is a really, really pretty game. And Goldsmith, then you should have uh, played uh, the Forgotten Sands between Sands of Time and Worry Within. Uh, probably that it would have taken place between the two games there. But we're going with these by release dates. Hmm. Let's see. Well, Warlord. Uh, out of the first three, my favorite is Thrones. Yeah, Thrones is the most developed version. Like, it still has a bit of oddities here and there. But it has a far less ones compared to some of the annoying parts of Sans and Warrior within. Uh, let's yeah. See. And also, the, 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 one of the things this one also is very good at, it, it really pulls off the whole final chapter of the trilogy off very well. Yeah, with uh, Kylina ascending to some other reality or something, and yeah, just looping it all back around to Sands of Time again. Uh. Yeah, and he actually learned that, uh, yeah, yeah, character development. Right? Yeah, character development, yes. And as well, uh, you... Just because you have the power of shame, go back in time, doesn't mean you were able to shame, fix all problems that way either. Yeah. Honestly, the most I would do with the ability to time travel is either get, either win the lottery, or... Nah, actually, I would just use it to get money. <laughs> I probably just use it to, like in the game, avoid getting killed. I mean, yeah, like, but that would get that. the Haka after you. Yeah. <laughs> the voice That's actors? True. Yeah. Wouldn't even have to, like, use it more than once. Just, like, I find the winning numbers of a specific lottery with a specific amount of money, rewind all the way then, and then just go with those numbers. <laughs> oh, bloody heck. <clears throat> Anyways, let's see. Uh, Warlord, but between Sans, uh, between Warrior and Sans, mm, may Sans about even. Heck yeah. Uh, like, I am still really impressed with just the hitbox accuracy in that game. Like, we we missed, we were missed sometimes just by the skin of our teeth because of how sharp those were. And let's yeah. see, Goldsmith. I think the trilogy speaks for itself. Yeah, it's a it's a thing of, it's the sum, the greater, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. And congrats, by the way, thank you. And Warlord is heading off. So see you next time, Warlord. Yeah, see you next time, thank you for joining. Uh, yeah. Goldsmith says, bye Warlord, stay awesome. Yes, <laughs> stay awesome and until next time. Uh, this actually means that uh, Tuesday, we will be starting with uh, Prince of Persia 08. <clears throat> Prince of Persia 08. What? Yeah, since it, it came out in 2008, I believe. And also something oh. with uh, Prince of Persia Swordsman, and for this light <clears throat> motion capture, I'm presuming. Uh, uh, now, what was I thinking of? I, <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, yeah, like it says there, 2005. Sands of Time came out in 2003. Were we read in in 2004? They made each of these games in about a year. Probably even less. Yeah, though they seem to have a very early on plan for it to be a trilogy. Yep. What the? You have unlocked the Telephone of Sorrow special weapon? <laughs> While well, in the pause menu, use the directional button and enter up, left, uh, right, left, right, left, up, up, down, down, no, down, down, up, up. Down, up, up, down, down. I almost, I almost was thought this was the freaking Konami code. Uh, Should you screenshot this? Yep, I did. Uh, <laughs> you have unlocked the uh, blah blah blah. I missed it. The, the telephone of sorrow. Uh, Who wants the telephone of sorrow? What the heck? I'm guessing a giant '80s phone that you use to bash people's heads in. <laughs> okay, before we end things though, let's take a look at the, uh, this here, because there is one thing here that I really want to look at. Uh, let's see, these are unlocked by collectibles. Uh, 
Wake up. Oh no, these are the just the, the these are just the, the cutscenes. Uh, is this a trailer? Uh, no, this is <laughs> this is the one I wanted to show. Bloopers. <laughs> Face. <laughs> Thanks to all of our fans, yeah. <sighs> See you soon. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, that's how you know that. Uh, a team likes what they do and just appreciates things when they were willing to poke fun at themselves. Yeah. <laughs> I can say I can miss this age of uh, Ubisoft. Yeah, sadly. Uh, it was, I wouldn't say that the start of Assassin's Creed was when Ubisoft really started to go down the drain, but it did happen along the way when basically they turned everything into an open world thing. We just a lot of time wasters. Yeah. But yeah, maybe, maybe that remake will eventually be released, and maybe they will do Warrior Within and the Two Thrones as well. And maybe we will see more Prince of Persia after that sometime. Probably not in this timeline, but maybe a new one. We can only hope. Yeah, we can only really hope. Uh, anyways, uh, I want to... Okay. Oh, the knife Don't is stuck in 4x3. Knife around. It's stuck in the 4x3 format at the moment. Uh, uh, let me take a quick look through... through chat here, if, if the freaking knife will escape. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Uh... Just by watching the game covers, I thought there were going to be more games. Yeah, I, that's the see you soon bit really makes me think that they were expecting to make more games as well. And well, then it was three years later for the reboots or attempted reboots. Let's see. Goldsmiths, the World of War, World of War, but Warrior Within, the Prince gets it begins edgier, then he gets half evil in the Two Thrones, then it would be completely evil, and then one more game to make him. Uh, to make him... Oh yeah, there are special weapons <laughs> by codes in this game. Uh, there are just a couple of them, though. Uh, yeah, open world is a cool me mechanism if it is done well. Not if it's just a done, done to just filler. Like, mortar is supposed to be between the bricks, yeah, but don't try to break up a wall with just wall filler. Yeah. But yeah, like when everything becomes open world, then nothing becomes special anymore. Is this one any special either, or is this the trailer? No, I don't know, this is the it's... intro. But yeah, that was that was all of uh, that was all of two thrones that I wanted to show off. And yeah, I would say that was definitely worth the ride, huh? Yeah, bloody heck, these are some good games. Okay, now before we hit half an hour of overtime, let's go look for someone to raid. Uh, let's see. Twitch. Then we change the screen share. Uh, Good there. luck. I'm going to go to bed. You guys have fun. Okay, see you later and rest uh, well, Rum. Yeah. Hey, look, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre video game is a thing. And I really oh, yeah. think Troopers are extermination. Yeah, I've heard good things of it. And also the Outlast Trials is a thing. <laughs> yeah, of that, uh, not so much. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Anyways, later. <clears throat> later on yeah. and sleep well. Yeah. Also, look, Tears of the Kingdom, a.k.a. How the fuck did the Sinai lose when they, they could literally make ion cannons? <laughs> okay, no spoils, please, because I'm still going through that That's game. Probably will be for that... another hunt. That's not even a spoiler, that's literally backstory shit and the fact that you can literally build whatever the fuck you want in that game. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, like, let's see. Seriously, you, half the shit people have built that are in YouTube are like fucking insane. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's Banjo and Kazooie nuts and bolts done right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, Goldsmith. To make him revert back to the original in Sands of Time, I don't know why it didn't send the whole. Uh, it didn't send say the whole phrase. You mean? And yeah, awesome stream adventure. Thank you for that. Uh, I'm not going for a God of War, uh, not yet at least. I might. I am. I've never played any of the games. I have the. Uh, I don't think I, I. Reboot is not a good word for it, but it's the where they started. Well, without a number at the end again, and uh, yeah, uh, Tuesday at the <clears throat> Tuesday in the evening we'll be moving on to uh, Prince of Persia 08, which is well I've named the painting one since yeah just the visuals of it. <laughs> just um, oh dear. Also, Tears of the Kingdom is also known as Tears of the Koroks because dear God the amount of people that have tortured those things. Uh, anyways, yeah. see you oh, next time, dear. Rom. And in the meantime, let's later. go look for someone to raid. Yep. Have a good night. Be safe, Rom. Be safe. See ya. Uh, let's see. We have Zeri the Fox, who is playing uh, Satisfactory. We have the Mental Marsupial, who is streaming Doom Eternal. We'll, we will be getting to that ourselves once we are done with, uh, <clears throat> with Prince of Persia. But first, we'll go through the, well, Original Doom, the Doom 2016, that one. And uh, <laughs> no, Goldsmith, I don't think I'll ever be playing Dark Souls because I would get my hand, I would get my ass handed to me, uh, be fed it, and be fed the remains of that afterwards, and probably smash a few controllers. I, that's not a series for me. <laughs> yeah. uh, moving on from that uh, colorful description. We have Jimmy McGinger, who is streaming Xenogears. Livepro is playing Project Zomboid. Takahata101 is streaming Deep Rock Galactic. Uh, very yeah. tempted to go rate them. Yeah, wait, he, he usually have way more viewers at this time. Yeah, it could Maybe be that they started. are just starting. Uh, next up, we have WBPL76 with Hollow Knight. I'm a flanker is streaming Old World. That's a new game, I'm thinking. <laughs> Weird oh, romance. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, what? <laughs> uh, next up, Is we have... Is it Warhammer Old World? I don't think so. It would have Warhammer in front of it. Um, Weird Romance is streaming Super Lesbian Animal RPG again. Touch Scaly Tail is also streaming DRG. Big V streams are playing uh, Morrowind. And that's about it our, in our typical range. Uh, let's see. Goldsmith, as soon as you learn to parry, the game becomes significantly easier, though. Well, I, I did a showcase of it, and I did manage to get through the <laughs> through the uh, intro relatively unharmed. I think I only died once. Uh, but yeah, hmm, I, don't, I simply don't think it would be something for me. I don't think me just getting angry and angrier with it would be entertaining. Yeah, as well. The story is very hidden. Yeah, it's more environmental stuff. And well, I've already shown how blind I can be. Okay, for now, who shall we raid then? Taka or someone else? Good question. Or shall we just go visit Zeri? Hmm. Zeri or Flanker for Takahata is actually is actually very big. I occasionally watch him on YouTube. Uh, okay, this is a civilization like game, so yeah, let's go. Oh right, that one. Let's go poke the fox who isn't that foxy anymore since they got a new model. Actually, they were never a fox uh, or. Not as far as I knew, because they were using an Asura and uh, Avatar from Guild Wars. 
Okay, oh, slash dear. raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Goldsmiths, uh, Warlords, and I see you lurking there, Sensei. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the show. Um, <clears throat> and as always, thank you, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, tomorrow, our rest day, then Tuesday, we're moving on to the 2008 Prince of Persia. That should probably take us a few games as well, a few games, a few streams as well. Then we'll get to the Forgotten Sands, which will be new for me. Yeah. And once we don't beat the Peter Sopocha games, we're going to something else. Yeah. We're going uh, to hell. <laughs> we're going for boom and gloom and doom. Yeah. And thank, doom. <laughs> thank you, Goldsmith. And I, I wouldn't be a but against trying some of Mario Maker 2, but not those, uh, I forget what they're called, but not those near impossible levels. Anyways, let's start up the raid. Uh, stupid commands trying to self-correct themselves. There, raid is started. Okay. And yeah, until next time, thank you all again for watching. And until then, have a nice day. And well, until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for sand monsters and seagulls. Especially yeah. sand seagulls. And backstabbing viziers. That too. That too. <laughs>